and the S&P and NASDAQ hit all-time record highs. D7 here, Wednesday hump day. July 19, 2017, and the markets go bullish. The S&P up a half a percent. Same for the NASDAQ. Small caps up a full percent. Banks, though, negative territory. Flat for financials. Flat for U.S. dollar. Crude oil up 1.6%. Gold flat. Silver slightly higher. And the fear dropping by 1%. Here we are looking at the S&P 500 ETF. Called the spider. Resistance line. Gap up, boom, plow through it again. An all-time record high. It's a historic high. It, it, we, it's just going insane. All right, let's take a look at a couple things. I want to look here at the weekly chart. Here is our problem. Here is the problem. Here's the problem. Big time resistance line. Two of them that we have to contend with. Two lines. So let me bring you in here to show you how these lines originated on the weekly chart. Support here. Support here. We broke support. Now support's acting as resistance. Swing highs. Resistance here. Resistance here. Right there is where we're at. That's our issue. That's our problem. It could easily, Thursday and Friday could be bearish. If we get a big red candle tomorrow, you can bank your bottom dollar on. We just put in a short-term top, okay? That, if we get an equal red candlestick like we have today, this white one, big red one right here, that's going to spell trouble, NASDAQ, a record high. Had the symmetrical triangle break out. Boom! And up, 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 up. Breaking resistance. Woo! Man, this thing has been on fire. Weekly chart on the NASDAQ. So far, we are above resistance. However, if Thursday and Friday we end at resistance okay we end below this red line the nasdaq oh, ends the week below 143.46 if that happens on the queues gang bad news that could be a big double top m for murder okay that is something to be watching for crude oil Popped higher. Still have a buy on it. Up, 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 up. Now it's above the 50-day moving average. Pretty good. Gold. Up, 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 up. Stalled. We could be putting in a short-term top on gold. Silver. Short-term um, high on silver. Is it, look at the how many red candlesticks, but in an up leg. Very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Normally, you don't see that. You usually see white candlesticks going higher, but that's, yeah, showing people selling into the strength anytime they get it. But we're at a resistance point, too. Quick look here at tech stocks because they did really well. Really well. Apple continuing higher. Amazon continuing higher but stalling out. But Baba in negative territory. I'm not going to put a sell on it yet. Um, what other one do I want to... GoPro is up 1%. I put a sell on it yesterday. This could turn around because we broke these... Let me get rid of some of these lines. I could turn around and put a buy on this, but I'm, I'm too early um, for it at this moment. But the line that it broke... Is that line? You see this? Support, support. It broke it. And now it's acting as resistance. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Be interesting to see. And Oracle up more than 1%. There's a high base breakout. I have a buy on it, and but it's going to be short-lived. We have resistance up there. 
to deal with. Price line up. You put a buy on that yesterday up nearly a full percent, 0.8 percent. Price line down one percent. Okay, let's take a look at that. Got over this. We still have a buy on it though. We still have a buy. Red hat up a little bit. Snap 1.63. Let's take a look here. Not going to put a buy on this yet. No buy, but we do have an inverted hammer, or in we also have what's called a bullish harami reversal pattern. We do have that. So anyway, we got a mentorship coming up next month. If you'd like to know what it's like to join us, go to Grub Trade, check us out. If you like it, like it. Catch you guys later.